Hello, my name is Jonathan Falco and I'm an engineer at Keysight Technologies. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use an eCal to perform a calibration with the Keysight TDR when the connectors of your DUT do not match the connectors of the eCal module. Make sure you have watched the previous video, eCal TDR Calibration, before continuing. There are two connector pairs to check when using an eCal to calibrate TDR heads. One, the connectors between the DUT and the measurement heads. Two, the connectors of the DUT and the eCal module. In the event you need to perform a measurement calibration for a DUT that has different connectors than the eCal module, special procedures must be followed. Here is the setup. The measurement head connects to the DUT, but it does not connect to the eCal module because the eCal's connectors are different from the DUT. An adapter needs to be added to the eCal module so it can connect to the measurement head. On the DCAX, press Default Setup. At the top left corner of the screen, click the green oscilloscope button and then click the orange button for TDR slash TDT. Click Change DUT Type and select the type of DUT you are using. In this case, we are using a single-ended two-port DUT. The DUT layout has changed to a DUT with only two channels connected. In the calibration area, click New Calibration. Note the names of the channels. 1A and 1C. Separate the channels you are using from the channels you are not using. Plug in your eCal module if you have not already done so. In area number 2, specify Cal kits and connectors. Under Calibration Method, select eCal based. The eCal module should already be selected. If you have multiple eCal modules plugged in, Make sure you have the correct one selected for your calibration. Now, under DUT connectors, specify the connectors your DUT has. In this case, it is 3.5 mm SMA female. A warning banner should appear stating, ECAL module and DUT do not have compatible connectors. In order to make that warning go away, we must add an adapter to the ECAL so the measurement heads can connect to the ECAL module. Find adapters such that the eCal module connectors are the same as the DUT connectors. Under eCal options, click Add Adapters. If you know the part number of the adapters, great! Select them in the drop-down menu for Port A adapter and Port B adapter. If you do not know the part number of the adapter you are using, that's okay. The TDR can measure the delay of your unknown adapter and compensate for it. To measure your new adapter and add it to the list, click Add New Adapter. Set a name for your unknown adapter in the Name field. Describe the adapter's attributes in the Connector 1 and 2 fields. Please note, the connector that will be connected to the stimulus channel needs to be entered into the Connector 1 field. Click Next. Select the measurement channel that you will be using this connector with. Follow the instructions very carefully. If you are using an extended measurement head, please remember, when the instructions prompt you to remove the adapter, do not remove the extended measurement head adapter. Remove only the adapter that is needed to connect the extended measurement head to the eCal module. When the Add New Adapter Wizard is finished, under eCal Options, click Edit, and select the adapter you just added. If you do not see the adapter you just added in the drop-down list, it means you did the Add New Adapter process incorrectly. Leave areas number 3 and 4 as they are. Next, click Start Calibration Measurement Wizard. Follow the instructions on screen very carefully to perform the calibration. 
Please remember to follow all ESD precautions when connecting or disconnecting equipment from the measurement heads. The instructions will walk you through what you need to do to perform an accurate measurement calibration. The calibration wizard will take a few minutes to calibrate. When the measurement calibration is complete, you will be asked where you want to save the calibration file. Click Browse. Navigate to your preferred location and give the file a descriptive name. Click Done and remove the measurement heads from the calibration module. Remember not to remove the extended measurement head adapter if you are using one. Congratulations! You have now completed calibrating your N1055A TDR measurement heads and you are ready to measure your DUT. To find out more about the N1055A TDR remote sampling heads, visit Keysight's website at www.keysight.com forward slash find forward slash N1055A. Thank you for watching.